So just throughout my life, United Way has always been so impactful in the community. I'm happy to have the opportunity to talk with you about the United Way of Central Florida. All of us know of the good work that the United Way does for many agencies, helping people less fortunate. Everyone is just so driven to give back to the community, to try to make the community a better place. My name is Tip Fowler, and I was honored to be the campaign chair for the 2019-2020 United Way of Central Florida campaign. I was asked to tell you a little bit about the campaign, and it's a pleasure to do so. Of course, within the framework of a big thank you for each of you who supported the United Way financially, and each of you who sought out to learn a little bit more about what it is that United Way does. We began last summer with new leadership, a new CEO and other leaders within the organization. And with that new leadership came an opportunity for fresh directions and positive outcomes. Having, having a business startup background, I looked at the business model of the United Way and I learned a lot. I looked at it from the, from the perspective and from the prison of a business startup uh, background and found that United Way's business model is truly a positively disruptive model. Disruptive in the sense that it changes the way things are done in the Tri-County area and to the good of the, of the community writ large. It really does make a, an enormous difference and I became convinced and, and pleased to be a part of that process. What United Way of Central Florida is, is the premier provider of outcome-oriented funding for health, education, and financial security. Thinking about the mission this way allowed us to really open up our minds and to focus our message. We allowed us to forge new partnerships and to expand our reach, to communicate more effectively, and to use both traditional and social media mediums. We recrafted our message to, to explain what it is that we do and in what, what came to be called the ABCs. A being amplifying your, don your donations through state and private uh, matching funds be through brokering with private agencies to move the needle on social outcomes that really needed, really needed attention. And C being con convening community leaders uh, to be able to establish the best way for your donations to have effect and to meet your, your donor intent. Thanks indeed to Rob Perrick uh, and the team who, who trained up the ambassadors and the volunteers, uh, as well as the staff of United Way of Central Florida, to be able to articulate this message in an effective way. They made more than 100 presentations around the Tri-County area and really were able to get the United Way message out. Thanks also to Chris Ann Long, who helped us put a focus on the small business community through Bridge Local and our local entrepreneurs. We kicked off the campaign last, last August with the Hedrick and Barnett family donor initiative matching new donors and 622 new donors came to the United Way family learning about what it is the United Way did. Thanks as well to the 517 workplaces that hosted campaigns and to the leadership and to the De Tocqueville societies for their efforts as well. Looks like we will exceed our, our goal for current year support in the United Way of Central Florida thanks to you. A big shout out in particular to our top, our top five donors, Publix, Geico, Mosaic, the Watson Clinic, and, uh, and the City of Lakeland. We appreciate all your support and the support of each and every one of you who, who, uh, who supported us. As the year ended, of course, we end up with a new challenge, COVID-19, and United Way of Central Florida responded by forming an alliance with the GiveWell Foundation, forming the United Community Relief Fund. It's a great initiative. It's going to make a big difference as we fight off this most recent challenge to the Tri-County area and to our nation. I'd like to close with uh, one more thank you uh, and, a, and a personal one. It really has been a pleasure and honor to serve as a, as a campaign chair this year. And I leave this campaign knowing and feeling quite convinced that we're up to facing the challenges that we need to face. And having faced those challenges, we will leave as a more resilient community. Thank you, and thank you for supporting United Way.
Hello, I'm Greg Littleton, and it's my pleasure to announce the 2019 Campaign Awards for the United Way of Central Florida. Annually, United Way recognizes organizations that conduct outstanding campaigns. Organizations are grouped in categories based on number of employees and rank based on participation, per capita giving, and participation increases from the previous year. United Way also recognizes an outstanding new campaign that went above and beyond in their first year running a United Way campaign. The 2019 New Business New Campaign Award goes to First Southern Bank. Now for the Summit Awards. For Small Business, Central Florida Regional Planning Council. For Medium Business, Highlands County Board of County Commissioners. And for Large Business, the City of Winter Haven. Congratulations. Employee coordinators serve as United Way ambassadors in their workplace. The Outstanding Employee Coordinator Award recognizes an individual that leads their organization in holding an exemplary United Way campaign and helps their organization achieve an increase in both participation and per capita giving. The 2019 Outstanding Employee Coordinator Awards go to the Outstanding Employee Coordinator for Small Business goes to Cindy Baxter of Hudson Pump. The Outstanding Employee Coordinator for Medium Business goes to Sarah Betzer of the Bank of Central Florida. The Outstanding Employee Coordinator for Large Business goes to Clement Bettino of the City of Lakeland. The 2019 Partner Agency of the Year goes to the Early Learning Coalition. The Employee Coordinator of the Year stepped up to make sure all locations in his organization had an in-person presentation, held a separate leadership giving meeting, coordinated an employee volunteer project, and had 83% participation in his workplace, and had an average gift of $488. His company even had a total of 27 leadership donors this year. I'm thrilled to announce 2019 Employee Coordinator of the Year is Doug McPherson of my personal favorite, Citizens Bank and Trust. But if you go to any event in the community, you will yeah. normally see him there. And he's just so appreciative that you can't keep on and that you carry on that legacy that Greg, Wayne, and Bonnie, and others in this leadership team provide for this community. We appreciate you. Congratulations to all of the 2019 nominees and winners. What a year, and it surely has gone by fast. Now before I pass on the gavel, I want to thank all of the volunteers, donors, and those of you watching, Tip Fowler and the campaign cabinet, Christina Kreiser Jackson and the entire United Way staff, the executive committee and board of directors, our outgoing board members for their tireless service, my public's family for their constant motivation and support. And lastly, those that have unconditionally supported me this past year on this journey. So on behalf of everyone here at the United Way of Central Florida and the Board of Directors, thank you. Tim, as I pass on this gavel to you, I wanna wish you the best of luck. Go knock them dead. Thank you, Greta, and thank you for wonderful leadership and service during this challenging year. And I look forward to serving United Way and all of our many constituents. Thank you. Over the past several months, our world has faced a unique global challenge. As the crisis unfolded, we were faced with an immediate need to respond to our community's most pressing needs, to help save lives, and respond to the most pressing economic needs faced by individuals in our community. When the crisis hit, over 150,000 individuals in our community were one emergency away from financial ruin. As you have seen through many initiatives and partnerships, our community has stepped up to support our neighbors in real time, and we thank you. As we move toward the second phase of recovery to get people back to work safely, we will continue to need your support. We will continue be to be challenged to reimagine our way of doing things as we work to rebuild and move our community forward. We've seen you shine so many times before. We know Polk, Highlands, and Hardy County residents are resilient. Thank you for continuing to live united and being the light for those who need it the most. <laughs>